believer in uh, Ryan Johnson. I do. I love Brick because I uh, I'm a big um, Joseph Gordon Levitt fan. Um, I remember watching that years ago and loving it. Um, I love it way better than I, I feel like that's way better than Baz Luhrmann's fucking ro- terrible Romeo and Juliet. If you know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. That movie fucking sucks. <laughs> What about you, Ryan? You're awfully quiet. You didn't like Knives Out. Or... <clears throat> no, no, I fucking loved it. I love, uh, I, I love him. I love Ryan Johnson. I, I loved the last the, his tech, his his Star Wars. I loved all three of those, with the exception of, of a certain story arc. But other than that, yeah, no, I fucking love Looper. I love Brick. Brothers Bloom is okay. Um, but yeah, fucking, I'm excited and. Hopefully it does get like a limited, like you said, a limited um, release so you, we can see it on the big screen. Um, but yeah, um, it, it kind of um, she's not coming back. Um, what's her name? Why am I blanking on her name? Ana de Amaris. I know it's like a complete different story. Yeah, story, but it'd be rad. Or no, like a little cameo. She's not coming back. And also, an an interesting thing that Ryan Johnson and uh, Daniel Craig has said about the character that a Daniel Craig plays is that each movie he's going to have a different accent. Oh, wow. So in the first one, he had a sort of Kentucky fried Southern accent that made him sound like a uh, foghorn leghorn. Um, and in this movie, they're in the Caribbean. So who knows, who knows what kind of accent they've had. And this was a, the, the, that was a character trait that uh, Daniel Craig pitched uh, Ryan Johnson on that each time they make a movie, he has a different accent and Ryan Johnson, liked it so much that he incorporated it into this movie so <laughs> and we to see what kind of accent he has i love uh dave bautista too i think he's super underrated as a comedic <laughs> actor and agree i think his portrayal of drax is like one of the better fucking portrayals of a marvel character it's like you're he like jumped right out of the books and onto your screen so i'm, I'm stoked for him to, to get get a shot at, at a movie like this I just recently found out about a couple weeks ago is um, <clears throat> George Miller's next movie, um, 3,000 Years of Longing, mm-hmm. um, starring Idris Elba and, and Tilda Swinton. Um, the premise is, is, is kind of interesting. Um, it looks it looks different and fucking it's George Miller. I don't know if you guys you guys have seen anything on it. Uh, I saw I saw the trailer and the reviews out of uh, the Cannes Film Festival have been pretty good, so yeah. I'm excited for it. Um, obviously, he's extremely famous for his Mad Max uh, quadrilogy, so you know you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, and I like his first uh, Happy Feet movie, so I'm excited. It, the, the the trailer looks fucking bananas, so I'm very <laughs> excited. For this movie. What about you? I said you seen anything about it? Uh, no, and I didn't know that that was George Miller. I know we aren't they. I think they're shooting uh, Fur- Furiosa right now. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't know that he had something else coming out. But I'll have to to check that out. Very exciting. Love all that guy stuff. I'm actually pretty excited for Hulu's uh, Prey. From mm-hmm. from director Dan yeah. Dan uh, Treckenberg uh, comes the next chapter in the long running Predator saga. This time, going back in in time for a prequel that will pit a well versed female Comanche warrior up against, uh, of course, the Predator that we all know and love. Uh, coming to Hulu August fifth, twenty twenty two. This trailer looks fucking sick as fuck. Um, I'm a big fan of this director who did 10 Cloverfield Lane, so I'm fucking pumped for it. I can't wait. Mm. Yeah, I'm stoked too. I can't, it, it's going to be uh, awesome to see see uh, the Predator in that kind of uh, setting. Um, and it's fucking genius like to, to have him go back to the, basically the beginning. Just wish it was coming out on the big screen. Uh, my next film is from the greatest director working right now. It's a little guy called uh, Martin Scorsese. Damn you. Damn you. Yes, that's right. 
No. That's fucking right. That's <laughs> fucking right. That's right. You crossed that off your list. <laughs> um, it's a film called Killers of the Flowers Moon, um, starring uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Jesse Plemons, Robert De Niro, Liddy Gladstone, Scott Shepard, Brendan Fraser, John Lithgow. Um, it is about the, in the 1920s, uh, victims of a brutal serial killer who will be portrayed in the film by Leonardo DiCaprio and the investigator who was on the hunt to catch him, who was being played by Robert De Niro. Um, I am extremely excited about this movie. I cannot wait. Scorsese is the best director working hands down. I don't care what you say. Uh, you are wrong. It is Martin Scorsese. Um, he can do no wrong. Um, so I am extremely excited about this film. Uh, uh, he was right when he was talking about the Marvel movies, and this film will prove it. So, yeah. Very, very excited about this. And um, I'm stoked that it's coming out in November of this year, so we don't have to wait too much longer. It's crazy that it's kind of like a like a Western. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't... You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's really veered in this territory that much. Not entirely. Um, I guess there's some there's some drips of a western in like games in New York, maybe, but not a full on western. This is a full on Scorsese western. Yeah. Very, very exciting. Um, and I don't think you're gonna get any pushback from Ryan or I about him being the greatest because that's just spitting the facts. Yeah, no, he, he's, he is the fucking greatest living. Um, is there a trailer off of that? No, there's not. Okay. Yeah, it, looks, it sounds awesome. And the fucking cast, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I didn't know it was coming out this year. Uh, Apple TV. Uh, yes, Apple, it is. Apple Plus. Apple Plus yes. Exclusive? And it costs as much as the last Avengers movie. $250 million. Hell yeah. Of course they're going to give him that money, man. He made Casino, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to go off again uh, so that I can get um, my last two out. Uh, my last two are uh, Bradley Cooper's Maestro, which is uh, supposedly going to come out this year. It is a biopic about L L Leonard uh, Bernstein, the composer who is mostly famous for his compositions of the hit film uh, West Side Story. Uh, which won uh, Best Picture in 1964, I think, or 1966, uh, one of those years. Um, it is directed by him and produced by Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese and Todd Phillips. Um, it stars him and Carey Mulligan and Jeremy Strong and Maya Hawke and Sarah Silverman. Um, it is a film that's supposedly focused on the marriage between composer uh, Leonard uh, Bernstein and his wife, uh, Felicia Montenegro. Um, I am excited for this. Uh, I assume we all saw his uh, Bradley Cooper's directorial debut, A Star is Born, which I thought was one of the best movies of that year. Um, and um, this, the story behind this goes like after... Scorsese and Spielberg saw A Star is Born. They gave up trying to adapt this film because uh, they were both independently trying to adapt the rights of a uh, Leonard Bernstein story. And after they saw A Star is Born, they gave up and they just threw all their support behind uh, Bradley Cooper. So that says a lot. So I'm excited for this. This is a Netflix movie supposed to be coming out later this year. I'm excited about that. And then the next and last movie that I want to talk about is supposedly coming out this year. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, David Fincher has a new movie coming out this year called The Killer. It is based on a graphic novel. It's supposedly starring um, Michael Fassbender and Tilda Swinton. Um, it is about a, 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 uh, a cold assassin who um, thinks he is 
he is losing his mind and is uh, set up in a world of assassins. So it's kind of like uh, David Fincher's take on John Wick, which if that makes your uh, dick hard as it just did mine, then you should be excited about this movie. <laughs> um, so those are my last two. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Um, I think it's coming out in like August. I think the trailer looks fucking bonkers. I think it's sitting like at a 96 on Rotten right now with like 27 or 28 um, reviews. <coughs> um, but yeah, fucking Lee Pace, Pete Davidson, uh, Amanda Steinberg. Have you guys seen the trailer? I have not, but I have heard of this movie and I'm excited for it. It's, uh, yeah. it's 824, correct? Yeah, it's 824. So it, it, it's, I don't know, it looks different from what they've been putting out in, the, in that genre. So it's like a horror comedy, but I'm stoked for it. I think it's coming out August 5th. Yeah. I know there's, I know, I think Disney is putting out Pinocchio, like live action, but um, Guillermo del Toro's um, stop animation for Netflix is coming out. Um, I'm stoked yes. for that. I think, I think he wrote yes. it and, and I think he's co-directing it. Yes, he is. I'm excited yeah. for that too. Uh, uh, that was on my list. My last thing I was I was stoked for, but I, I think it just got pushed to 2023 was um, the Salem Lot remake or reboot or whatever it is. Yeah, I think I just read that it got pushed back to 2023. Oh, okay. Like legit when I was doing my my write ups for this. Uh, what about you, Wesley? What do you got for us? Uh, I have, I believe, one more. Uh, it's a little film card <laughs> called uh, Barbarian, starring. Georgina Campbell, Justin Long, and Bill Skarsgård, uh, Barbarian, spins its story in the age of the Airbnb era. As a young female arrives late one night to find her Airbnb has been double booked as she decides to stay with the stranger, she soon realizes the house itself holds deep secrets beneath its floors. This is releasing September 9th. If you guys haven't seen this trailer yet, I highly recommend it. It looks really, really fucking good, um, and it's uh, it's being promoted at Comic Con. Have you guys seen this trailer yet? I ha- yeah, I, I did saw... see the trailer. Yes. Yeah, I saw uh, it. It was in front of Black Phone for me. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, dude, it looks it looks it looks fucking awesome. Oh, I do have one more. Uh, um, I I would be remiss if I did not mention the great. Directors uh, Steven Spielberg has a movie coming out this year based on his childhood called The Fablemans. It is starring Paul Dano, um, Michelle Williams, who are playing his dad and mother, and Seth Rogen is playing his favorite uncle. Um, it is co-written by by uh, uh, the uh, Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright uh, Tony Kushner, who also co-wrote Munich and West Side Story with uh Steven Spielberg. Um it is a highly anticipated movie. I am very interested in seeing how this plays. I am a big fan of Spielberg when he goes personal, not so much when he goes history lesson like with uh, the British Spies or Lincoln. Um so I'm very much excited about this movie. Is this a movie that you guys have heard about or what is it called again? Yeah. It's called uh The Fablemans. No, I, I uh that one's slipped by me supposed to be an oscar play coming out in december late december all right um thank you of course cj i know this whole this episode was conspired by you it was your idea and i think it turned out pretty fun and not great i can't i i can't imagine it going any better (laughs) (laughs) signing off we'll say good fight and good night